people really want to know where their food comes from. When my dad was growing up, we sold milk in all the local schools. Everybody was aware of Ideal Dairy and the brand and who the family was. In the community, we were part of it. Everybody knew Ideal Dairy. Grandpa had shut down the milk plant in 1987. After that, we had just shipped our milk to co-ops, and then they took it to wherever it was needed. By 2000, you know, you've gone through two to three generations that didn't drink our milk in school. So we felt like we had kind of lost that connection with our local community. And they weren't aware of what we did and who we were. I thought that there should be some new connection. And then I found Marge and Dave. Hey, wave back. You wave. <laughs> My name is Marge Randalls, and this is Argyle Cheese Farmer. He's a comedian. <laughs> it's hard for farmers to stop. We had a small farm, it was 50 cows, and we made good milk, but I could see we had two families on the farm. There wasn't enough cash flow to get us through. John, being an adventure guy, jumped in. So we built this building and started making cheese. This is Argyle Cheese Farmer. It's our processing plant and store. This is where we make cheese and yogurt and buttermilk. And out of our kitchen, we bring frozen pizzas, mac and cheese, baked goods. We started our partnership with Argyle Cheese Farmer in 2020, and it was an endeavor on our part to be very intentional about reconnecting with our community. You can invite people into your farm and give them a tour, but if you can't share your product with them, you really lose that immediate understanding. In order to continue having dairies in local communities, they need to innovate. There's two casein proteins in milk, A1 and A2. Milk with the A2 makes a difference for some people that struggle digesting milk. And most black and white Holstein cows produce milk with A1 and A2. So it's hard to distinguish, and you can only tell genetically. Ideal, they have such a large herd and they know the genetics of all their animals. So they put together a herd of 250 animals that produce milk with just the A2 protein that made it possible for us to make all our products with A2. And that's so important because people find A2 works for them, then they come and buy cheese, yogurt. You can't change the economics of dairy farming. You can't change how the pricing goes. What you can change is how you work in that system. And so that's what brought me to bring a value-added product in. My favorite Argyle Cheese Farmer product is definitely the plain cheese curds. Sounds so not exciting, <laughs> but they really are. <laughs> My favorite yogurt is their maple yogurt, which actually has won the New York State Award for 2023. People like the products. They're great products. So that was our connection back to the community. I think a farm that doesn't innovate is going to really struggle to continue operating in the future. In our industry today, there's fewer young people wanting to get involved. We never would want to try to force our kids to be in the industry if they didn't choose that. It's not an easy lifestyle. I think you really have to want to do it. It's not about the money, really. It's about making money to be sustainable. So that's kind of what we did. We give them an opportunity. And I hope they'll do that with their kids so we can be here tomorrow. We all hope that they're the next generation, but you know, certainly recognize that that will be their choice. No matter what our kids decide to do, they're gonna be better people for having had that experience growing up on a family business and in a family farm. I can remember my father saying, I'll give you the tools that I got and the rest is up to you. We feel that the kids are running the show and doing exactly what they want and what they dream to have. And that's what we're most proud of. Being able to bring our kids up around this kind of a family business, around a farm, is something that is sacred. I don't think you can put a dollar value on that. 
And that's what we're trying to instill those values in our children and give them that opportunity if they would like to choose to do that. The people that surround me are my aunts, uncles, parents, and grandparents. And what do you want to be when you grow up? An architect to help the farm have better stuff to make it easier. What is priceless is the family legacy.